Installing a Wi-Fi Bluetooth module in a Zebra ZD421-621 desktop printer is quick and easy. So let's uh, do it. So we have two modules here. The differences in the modules are going to be basically the frame around the electronic circuit board. And this is designed for different models. So depending on the model, you want to make sure you have the right card. These are dual radio. They feature 802.11 AC Wi-Fi radios and Bluetooth. So let's take a look at the printer. So normally the interfaces on the, on the printer are located at the back, but the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module is inserted at the bottom of the printer. So what you want to make sure is that your printer is powered off and the printer is unplugged. So we'll turn the, the printer over and you'll see a access panel door. So this one with the Wi-Fi symbol, you'll open it up. And of course, if it isn't Wi-Fi equipped, you won't see a module in it. And we'll grab this particular module. This one is for the 421D. We'll put it in like this, and you'll want to make sure it snaps into place. It will click just like that. Then you put the door back on, close it up, and then I'll show you how to set it up next. There are multiple ways you can set up your printer, your 421 and 621 on the wireless network. One way to set it up is the printer setup utility uh, that is available on iOS and Android. You can also use the Windows driver as well as the setup utility on a Windows system. Today we're going to set up the wireless on a display on a ZD621T. So let's get started. So what you'll want to do is you'll go here to the wizards and we'll select connections because we want to bring it up on the Wi-Fi network, wireless network. We'll go here to start connections. We will select since we're setting it wireless, Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to leave these settings as is. You can change them if you need to. I'm going to leave this the same. This is a US Canada model, so I'll leave that. I'm going to select my Wi-Fi security and my particular network is WPA PSK. So I'll do that, select that. Now you can see I have a key already typed in, but if you needed to change the key, you could go in here and type your appropriate key and hit the check mark to save it. Okay, let's go back and select it. Um, have this left as is. My ESS ID is there as well. I have it typed in. We can change it if you want to on the screen. Let's go back, hit here. Again, I'm gonna leave this as is. I'm going to have this set for Bluetooth on. If I want to turn it off, I can turn it off as well. And I'm going to set Bluetooth discovery on as well. Hit this. Now this is the friendly name. This is a name that you can put uh, for this printer that you can easily recognize. It, by default, it's set to the serial number. I'm going to leave it as is. My Bluetooth security level, I'll leave it as three. And we are all set to go. Okay, you can see the network light is red, so I will hit this and hit end wizard. And as soon as we come online, the network light will pulse and will turn green when we're all set up.